Hello, my name is Marcellus Thomas. Um, this is my third semester. And for this example, I've chosen to speak on an event um, when I first became a CNA. There was a young lady that I was taking care of. I'm gonna call her Jessica. Um, Jessica was sort of prudish, a little standoffish for an older person. Well, a little bit of all old people are grumpy at some point because biologically we are predisposed to be a little bit more grumpier with age. But I digress. Um, throughout my time taking care of her, I never noticed a family member coming in to say goodbye to her except for her twin sister. And this woman was 97 years old. She had children and grandchildren, but none of them cared enough to see her. When her twin sister finally came, she held her sister's hand for a time. And um, when she went to go, she cried. And she looked at us and thanked us for our services. And we said we were thankful for her being there and coming in to see her sister in the state that she was because she was deteriorating at this point. Deteriorating is just a medical term we do for residents who are just slowly passing away. There's nothing we can do. Think of it as natural causes. Um, and as she went to leave, she thanked us for being there to take care of her. And she admonished herself for not visiting as often as she should have. Um, our response uh, was, it may not seem like much, but having been there for her, even in this moment alone, shows outstanding character. And no matter what, we were sure that her sister appreciated the input. But um, unfortunately, her takeaway was she um, was to say that we had taken care of her when she wasn't there. And that to an extent, we had become family to her sister who had passed, who was passing away at the time. After she passed away, she was after my resident passed away. Um, it was night and I was one of the few people still on shift. So me and another CNA um, tended to her body. We cleaned her and prepared her for the undertaker. And we did it with care and I hope gave her dignity. And um, But um, I digress. That experience, seeing the sorrow in the woman's eye, in my resident's twin sister's eyes it it was it was humbling it taught me to always be empathetic to even people you don't truly know because life is hard we don't always make the right decisions we don't always say the right thing and sometimes just being there for a person and that one moment getting in their bucket and just and so and so and just being there could be all they need in, um, sale, in salesman term, this could be conceived as giving them the pickle, uh, which is an expression for a, a restaurant owner who used to give away pickles of every burger he served. And he said that for some reason, new management had discontinued that. And he got a letter about a pickle that was uh, about this pickle situation and he remedied it so he would not have a disgruntled um, employee because this employee had written him about this. This is why I believe us as future undertakers should keep in mind that some people will come into these situations where they'll be burying someone and no one else will be there to mourn besides them. And just taking that moment to empathize with the person that's passing away and the person that's there to give them that bit of comfort even when it's not uh, applicable to your profession or what you're doing at the time, could mean the world to them. And I, having experienced many a loss myself, have more respect for those who work in our vocation than many other people will. Or at least I feel as though I've gained a lot of insight through my life experience Knowing that my contemporaries here within this course also will experience this, have experienced similar situations, and will continue to be there for others. 
And <clears throat> I believe having that experience helped prepare me how to interact with other people, how to talk to them, and how to better service them in their time of need. Once again, my name is Marcellus Thomas. It was an honor speaking to you all, and I hope I answered any questions you may or may not have had. Um, take care of yourselves and best wishes to you.